Juniper Sky Enterprise cloud-based management is a great tool for managing branch devices like SRX and EX, but it can also be used to set up and manage QFX devices in a small data center environment using ESI lag. In this video, we'll show you how to do that. Here we see our desired topology. This consists of a pair of QFX 10Ks as the spine nodes and QFX and EX devices as the top of rack leaf nodes. Juniper Sky Enterprise gives you simple tools and templates to set up and manage QFX data center devices. From establishing the ESI lag connections, defining VLANs across the fabric, through to managing access ports, all from a single browser interface. Moving to the Sky Enterprise dashboard, our first task is to add the devices. Simply click Add Device and supply the name and specify the device category as Switch. We are provided with the device's unique configlet. We now apply that configlet to the device and commit the change. Here we are on the target device's command line. The commit establishes the secure outbound SSH connection from the QFX to the Sky Enterprise platform. And in the background, we've added our other devices. These are all now online. Let's add some tags to the devices. These will help us group devices for management tasks later. Simply create a tag name and add it to your devices. Juniper Sky Enterprise has example templates stored GitHub that are available for all users. We'll use some of these for the bulk update functions in Sky Enterprise. Adding and customizing them is really simple. Variables are defined in double curly braces and are used to give us flexibility for adding the unique configuration details we need for our network. In the background, we've added five templates to Sky Enterprise, including top of rack spine, top of rack configuration, spine and top of rack VLANs, and underlay overlay configuration. Our first task is to get the spine's interconnections ready. This bulk update template uses variables for the interfaces, addressing, and BGP information. We select the template, the devices, and then we add the variables. Bulk update jobs can be run immediately or scheduled using the options shown above. We initiate the job now by clicking on the Update option. The update was successful. Here we see the report showing the status of the job and the configuration that was changed on the two devices. We can use the Juno CLI feature in Sky Enterprise to get on the device's command line to verify the BGP connection state. Next, we move on to establishing the connections between the spine switches and a top of rack leaf switch. This is done in two steps. First, by setting the spine side configuration and then the leaf. We create a new bulk update job, select the template, and then select our spine devices using the tag we created earlier. Next, we supply all the link aggregation and system information needed. The job is initiated, and once complete, a report is presented. Again, we can use the Juno CLI feature to check the connection state of LACP interfaces. As expected, we see they are currently detached. Now we configure the top of rack leaf side. Select the device and the appropriate template and supply the information for our interfaces that will connect to the spines. Now back on the spine device, we can recheck the LACP connection and see it is in connected state. 
We now need to add a VLAN to the fabric. First, we'll define it on the spine devices, where we'll also have later 3 routing for the subnet. This bulk update template just needs the VLAN number and the IRB interface addressing. Lastly, we show adding a VLAN to just one top of rack leaf switch, but the process is the same if you wanted to add to all your top of rack devices. Just supply the VLAN ID, the template does the rest. Looking at the command line again, we can see that the virtual gateway address is configured on the IRB interface. And here, we see that the show EVPN database command confirms that the layer 3 routing is active on the spine. At this point, we have successfully configured our data center infrastructure using ESI lag. With the data center in place, we can use Sky Enterprise to simplify our ongoing management. For example, we can view the top of rack switches VLANs and interfaces. Here we assign a VLAN to an access port by editing the interface unit, selecting the interface type as access, and choosing the VLAN we want to assign. Sky Enterprise commits the new configuration onto the device and the interface is ready to use. Sky Enterprise has many other useful operational tools to help you maintain your devices. These include zero-touch provisioning, security templates, software updates, system and interface graphs, configuration backup, alarms, and much more. Thanks for watching.